Hello and welcome everyone. I hope that you had a wonderful holiday and I wish you all a happy new year. So before I get started on the voiceover for the remainder of this video, I wanted to say a special thanks to Brad for recording and learning and expanding a ukulele piece that I had written a couple years ago. I had always wanted to expand it. It was a very short loop of a song, and he took it upon himself to turn it into a really complete piece. And I am so appreciative and so touched and so honored. And I thought that his recording of that song would be just absolutely perfect for this video. So we went into this canyon. We found time, we carved out a little time for ourselves to have a vacation and to get back to nature and vacation and enjoy ourselves. We have been kind of going nonstop and this was the perfect respite that we needed. I got to bring along my new hiking boots from Aram, and let me tell you, I was really grateful to have them. They, I think, are going to be really awesome hiking boots to have. Anyway, we saw so much water, so many springs, beautiful waterfalls, and all the bighorn sheep. There's nothing quite so spectacular as being deep within a canyon, tucked away from the cities and humans and just everything, the world around us. You feel so isolated and remote and protected. And then to look up at the cliffs and to see all these bighorn sheep, oh my goodness. Is that a nickname? This is a wolfberry. My partner was saying that they are in the goji berry family, actually. And so he was just suggesting that they should be called Sonoran goji berries and that maybe they are a superfood, too. They were definitely delicious. The moon was nearly full when we were there, and that also was quite spectacular. <laughs> lighting our way at night. We hardly had to use any headlamps. We climbed in and out of the canyon. We discovered so many cool things. We found pottery shards and beautiful rocks and, like I said, already springs. I'm surprised we didn't see any turkey, although we did find a turkey wing. And we didn't see any deer either, but we knew they were there. We mostly just saw the bighorn sheep. I'm sure this canyon is full of coatis and has some bear and cougars and coyotes and maybe foxes. Lots of beautiful animals. But the bighorn sheep were the only ones to reveal themselves to us. This was a really slippery slope. And my boots did great. I promise you I am not being sponsored by Aram. <laughs> I just really... It's exciting for me to have an official pair of hiking boots. I hike a lot. A lot, a lot. And it's one of my absolute favorite things to do. And it's kind of ridiculous that I have taken so long to get a nice pair of hiking boots. So here we are, walking up a little side canyon and looking for a hot spring. And at this point, my partner touched the water, and it felt warmer to the touch, and we knew we were really close. So the hot spring you are about to see is actually a flooded mine shaft, and it was about 90 degrees. It was definitely a cold weekend, but 
the hot spring was just warm enough. Here's another waterfall. Oh, so spectacular. Water in the desert is one of the greatest things ever. Now, I have to say, so here's the hot spring. I want to say something <laughs> that um, hot springs are wonderful places to visit and they're so magical and they're so special and I want everyone to be able to enjoy them. However, unfortunately, there has been an increasing problem with hot springs and social media. And I'm saying this because here I am posting this hot spring on YouTube for everyone to see. And I'm doing it in good faith that if anyone were to find this hot springs themselves, they would take really good care of it and really respect this beautiful space so that it remains intact and future generations can visit it. One of the things that has been a problem as of late is hot springs um, with the internet have been shared a lot, and so more and more people are able to visit them, which is wonderful. But some people, unfortunately, don't have <laughs> maybe the same respect for a space, and so a lot of these wonderful hot springs that are available to the public have glass shards now in them because people are bringing in beer bottles and throwing their trash around. And there's unfortunately even been some cases where people have gotten sexually transmitted diseases in these spaces because there's just so many people in the hot springs. And it's really unfortunate. So... I just, I really wanted to say, please, any space you go into, and I'm not assuming you will, because I inherently think the good of everyone, but just let's keep our earth clean and respect it and not leave our trash all around. Anyways, I think I'll stop <laughs> that little PSA. There was a lot of really wonderful alcoves in the canyon that were just perfect for sitting and meditating and appreciating the view. This canyon is so beautiful. And as you can see, even though it's December, late December, we are still in fall here in the desert. So there was a lot of slot canyons, little side canyons that we got to explore, which was so much fun. Brian stopped me at this point because he was curious to see if there were any interesting tracks. I don't think he saw any, except for Fig, of course. Uh, but right around the corner, we discovered that this canyon ended, so maybe it's not a highway that a lot of animals use because it doesn't lead anywhere. Well, it did actually lead somewhere. It led to another little waterfall. So magical. You would never know. Look how dry the ground is. Is it dead end? Oh, I should also say about the hot spring, don't put your face in the water. <laughs> there are, in fact, brain-eating amoebas that will get up into your nose and into your brain. And it doesn't end well for anybody. <laughs> so, yes. I remember hearing of brain-eating amoebas as a kid. And, you know, definitely not um, wanting to, to die. <laughs> Um, but I, it just seemed like such the, a, a mythical thing, you know, but they're real. It really does happen. And anyways, so we found a way over this canyon, the slot canyon that had dead ended. And 
we were able to climb up some more channels, and here we are looking down into it. And then, of course, we got to relax in the sun and warm up because it was really cold. And we got to read books, and I got to drink my coffee, and we just enjoyed being in the space. So all of the hiking around that we did, we also got plenty of time to just be and exist and enjoy and man that sun felt so good so thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you enjoyed this variation of some original ukulele music Take care, everyone, and again, Happy New Year. I hope that you find some beautiful spaces to recuperate and to start off the new year with some grounding and peace and rest and balance <laughs> and all that other jazz. So I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.